Cocaine is an alkaloid found in the leaves of a cocoa plant. The cocoa shrub is native to South America. The inhabitants have been known to consume cocaine by chewing the leaves, a practice that could date back 5,000 years ago. Cocoa chewing was an important feature of the ceremonial or religious occasion in the Incan civilization. One of the most famous cocaine users was Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud was an Austrian neurologist and founder of psychoanalysis. Interestingly and inaccurately, Freud published a study claiming cocaine was an effective remedy for morphine addiction and alcohol abuse. He also glossed over the addictive and harmful properties of cocaine in his publication. In 1866, a pharmacist named John Pemberton introduced a new beverage called Coca-Cola. One of the drink's major components was cocaine. At the time, research on cocaine was very limited, and Coca-Cola was marketed as a suitable alternative to alcoholic drinks. This all changed as our understanding of the drug progressed, and shortly after, cocaine was made illegal and banned from mainstream consumption. Any remnants of cocaine in Coca-Cola were then removed. Cocaine is a complex drug because it interacts with several neurotransmitter systems. Its most notable and important effect is on the neurotransmitter dopamine. The drug works by blocking the reuptake of dopamine. It does this by binding to certain channels that reuptake dopamine and inhibits their functions. This leads to constant firing of dopamine pathways and so drastically increases the amount of dopamine in the brain. The high levels of dopamine elicit feelings of exhilaration, enhance alertness, high energy, a boost in confidence and an overwhelming sense of happiness. Shortly after this intense high, dopamine levels plummet, which is why cocaine's effect may only last 30 minutes. Cocaine can be combined with other substances such as alcohol. The combination of the two creates a unique metabolite called cocaethylene. This substance not only has a biological activity similar to that of cocaine, but also has a longer half-life. The high that a cocaine provides is a very addictive feeling of euphoria. In fact, some individuals develop a pattern of cocaine binges, which are episodic bouts of repeated use lasting up to days. The user is in a pursuit of a high that never really is attainable. A single dose of cocaine may trigger a stroke or seizure. Complications associated with the heart can range from cardiomyopathy to cardiac failure. High doses of cocaine use can lead to panic attacks or development of temporary paranoid psychosis, including delusions and hallucinations. One common type of hallucination is called cocaine bugs, which refers to the sensation of tiny creatures crawling over the skin. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.